Now to the big story. Last week we told you about a Lincoln County special ed teacher and two instructional assistants who have been accused of abusing a student with autism. Well, the county fired the two assistants but relocated the teacher to the student support center. And as LEX 18's Jacqueline Nye reports in the big story at 11, some parents are upset that teacher still has a job. Concerned parents like Crystal Freeman, whose son is nonverbal in his autism, say they are using their voices for the voiceless. This is our worst fear. When your kid cannot come home from school and tell you things, it, it's a whole different ball game. According to court documents, two instructional assistants, Teresa Sparkman and Janie Hasty, who was not pictured, were fired after Hasty punched and taunted a nonverbal student with autism. Also, according to that court document, Sparkman and Hasty had the student on the ground in a corner, and Hasty twisted his arm, pulled him up off the floor, and shoved him, while at one point, Teresa laughed. According to police, this happened in a classroom with the teacher, Rebecca Spurlock, doing nothing to stop it. She shouldn't be employed by the Lincoln County school system at all, e ever again, and especially not steal. She failed. She failed her student. But Spurlock remains on the job, relocated to the school system support center. Charity Phillips's son is also nonverbal and autistic. We sent our kids to school for an education, not to be bullied and picked on. They have the, enough of that going on in the school system themselves without having the teachers having to do it too. Crystal Freeman and Charity Phillips also say they're friends with the victim's mother, another reason they are protesting. I wouldn't handle it as well as she is, but she is a very strong woman and she has a good backbone and a good support system and we're all there for her. The county attorney says what happened was caught on video, but attorneys for the school system sent LEX 18 an email denying our request to see the video. Covering the news in Lincoln County, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News.